welcome to another episode of the Gun Leshy Channel. Over the years, trash pandas have done everything they can to establish their dominance in the backyard of many unsuspecting families. Today's story is part six in our ongoing expose into backyard pests, and more specifically, the men whom are on the front lines of this battle. Men like Tim Reynolds with his beloved Egg Unleshy 2 has successfully thwarted the plans of these backyard bullies for years. With some late night overwatch, ambushes, and some heart thumping close quarter bully battles. In today's video, he continues the battle while testing out some new tools in the never ending saga, the story of the backyard bullies. The story will continue in a moment. Today's video is sponsored by Olight. They have a huge summer sale going on. So if you're in need of some high quality yet affordable camping, hunting, or EDC illumination, make sure to click the link in the description and in the pinned comment to find some amazing deals. If you happen to find something that's not on sale, make sure to use the promo code EDGUN, E-D-G-U-N, to get 10% off. Now, let's get back to our program. Protecting this house is a 24-7 job from these pests. So I was out zeroing this 640 to 40X thermal from ATN's Thor 4 series. More on this in some upcoming videos. This thing's amazing. But a chipmunk rolled in uh, to say what's up. So not a lot of meat on these bad boys. But a fresh chipmunk is like a filet mignon to a trash panda. I left it out there thinking we were in for a bully session later that evening. Speaking of which, so I've updated a few Leshy 2 rigs for the nighttime pew pew. Uh, the top one is my 450mm 25 cal with the ATN Excite 4K Pro, and the bottom one is my 350mm Leshy 2 and 20 cal. Both are shooting NSA 254 slugs uh, going around 910 and 715 feet per second, respectively. So, uh, you might notice something though, uh, a little bit different off the front. That is the Behemoth Reflex Trilug Silencer that was designed by Brian over at Edgun West. This thing is hands down the quietest suppressor I have ever run on this gun. So I just released a full walkthrough uh, of this particular suppressor over on my Edgun USA Clips channel. So I'll throw a link in the description if you want to go check that out when you're done watching this one. Later that night after getting that chipmunk, I was out with the thermal looking for those rats, those ones that are real hard to find. Nothing can hide with this thing. So I go back and forth my preference for thermal or night vision. Let me know what you guys think uh, down in the comments about either one. But the 640 unit uh, from ATN, man, this thing is just incredible clarity for a thermal. Uh, and on those non-human nights, because human is the ultimate enemy of thermal, uh, this thing honestly looks like night vision, the footage to me. So anyways, uh, I just keep flip-flopping back and forth between these locations where I go up outside my office and I'm kind of shooting down into my neighbor's yard on those rocks and then down into that little ping pong room where I have that sniper's hide and I'm drilling them on the table for one. Hey guys, quick giveaway update. While the main million sub March giveaway is happening in parallel, I wanted to come up with another way for folks to win a new Leshy 2 as well. So this one is simple and it'll go quick. I dropped a limited edition chicken of the tree t-shirt uh, and anyone who snags one of these shirts will be eligible to win a 250 millimeter Leshy 2 in the caliber of your choice. So the shirts are limited to 500, so your odds are actually pretty great. Uh, the plan is to do this maybe three to four times a year, and it really kind of depends on the reaction that you guys give. If you love it, I'll continue to do it. So I know these things are super expensive, so I thought this would be a fun way to try to win one. Worst case, you get a limited edition t-shirt. Best case, you win this sick new Leshy 2 that you guys see me use in all of these videos. So I'll drop a link in the description and pinned comment for you to go snag one along with all the full rules and details. This thing is just so quiet. The quick detach is just absolutely nuts. Uh, the issue is it kind of lulls you into making some bad decisions with how quiet it is. Uh, let me explain what I mean. So I got the 450 millimeter all dialed in for this backyard bully with the 254 33 grain NSA bullets. Uh, the issue is uh, I shoot duck seal here, so when I was testing it, it was super quiet. But listen how loud the impact is on this rat. I absolutely panicked, and I went into uh, call the dog mode, uh, like that was going to cover this thing up. 
Holy crap, Piper! <laughs> yeah, I'm an idiot. Uh, I guess 64 foot pounds into a 4x4 four four isn't probably going to be too quiet at midnight. Uh, oops. So, I got a few more rats. Uh, I had actually just brought out the thermal because it was a lot quieter. Uh, and that sweet pew pew of the new behemoth suppressor must have been a dinner bell because not five minutes later, the backyard janitor himself showed up to clean things up for his old pal at Gunleshy. He got his fill of the rats and some leftover peanuts and then went on his way. Later that night is when the bullies really started to roll in, and this was actually pretty late, so I was already asleep. But I knew they'd be back the next night, and by the looks of it, uh, I've got at least eight to deal with this summer, so gonna be a busy one. 24 hours later. And sure enough, I was right. This big monster came down the tree, and I got a text alert on my phone once it got onto the table for one, so I grabbed my 45025 and I put one right into the off switch. If this is your first time seeing a raccoon get dispatched, those spasms are totally normal. It's just the nerve shutting down. This was instant lights out. You never know though. So I grabbed my thermal rig uh, and cautiously walked out. I hit the white light from my Olight Odin that I have on the side of this rig. Uh, and as I was searching for it under thermal, just in case I like to have that white light like this. You never know, especially after that hunting chupacabra incident. I always carry an extra EDC light in my pocket in addition to anything that I'm carrying on the gun. So don't forget to check out Olight Summer Sale if you're in need of some lumens yourself. It's hard to tell because this is I had to put this in black and white, but I mean there was blood everywhere. So I actually had to get a hose because my wife would have freaked out. It looked like a crime scene. So once I got things cleaned up, I went back inside. At this point, it's like 1.30 in the morning. So, uh, man, I wasn't in there 10 minutes before I got another alert on my phone. And I looked down and I was just exhausted. So, you know what? I'll have to get these guys another night. But like I said, it's going to be a busy summer and fall for the Leshy too. So buckle up, we got some backyard bully action to come. All right, puppy, we'll go outside. No more backyard bullies back there for you, okay? Come on. I know, you're a big wimp now. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Dang, this thing is sick. Look how bright this is. So thanks again to uh, Olight for sponsoring today's video and we are officially backyard bully free come on pipey no bullies come on pipes <whistles> piper <whistles> mm -hmm. maybe there is a bully back here just kind of freaked out come on pipes come on go get your ball so thanks again to uh, Olight for sponsoring today's video. As you can see, this is a bright light. One of many that are on sale in there. Where are you, Piper? In there, oh, taking a piss. <laughs> that is on sale right now for, and for a couple more days as the, uh, as the date of this video drop. So thanks again, guys. And thanks again to Piper's Piss. Now, time to go to bed. Get yourself an Olight. And I'll see you later on this week with another video. Thanks for watching the Ed Gun Leshy channel. Want more backyard hunting videos? Grab your favorite beverage and get yourself caught up. There's hundreds just like the one you just watched. Here's a couple favorites to get you started.